a very, very basic proof of Fermat's last theorem. Even if you are a minority of one, the truth is the truth. Mahatma Gandhi I really like your channel and I'm fascinated with your proofs. Success. Now we are an army of two. Take the prime 41. 21 squared minus 20 squared equals 41. 841 squared minus 840 squared equals 41 squared. 34461 squared minus 34460 squared equals 41 cubed. 861 squared minus 820 squared equals 41 cubed. 1412881 squared minus 1412880 squared equals 41 to the fourth. 34481 squared minus 34440 squared equals 41 to the fourth. 861, 820 are triangular numbers. It is easily demonstrated that the number of differences of two squares satisfying any integer raised to the power 2n or integer raised to the power 2n minus 1 is equal to n. Hence the bigger 2n minus 1 prime or composite then the more z squared minus y squared equals x to the 2n minus 1 solutions there would be for any Fermat triple if one ever existed. This is for me totally counterintuitive to the modern proofs demand for proof to infinity for the powers. Also, a to the 2m minus 1 and b to the 2m minus 1 would also have their own armies of difference of square solutions, resulting in 3n in total for just one Fermat equation. 9 cubed equals 8 cubed plus 6 cubed. It doesn't, it's in error by 1. 9 cubed equals 41 squared minus 40 squared equals 45 squared minus 36 squared. 8 cubed equals 129 squared minus 127 squared equals 36 squared minus 28 squared. 6 cubed equals 55 squared minus 53 squared equals 21 squared minus 15 squared. That's 4 over 2 times 3 equals 6 minimum difference of squares equations produced by just one cubic n equals 3 equation. Having just equated 41 cubed as the difference of two squares but in only two possible ways, this slide and the next give 40 cubed as the difference of two squares in 14 ways. What lesson are we to take away from this simple demonstration? The choice is yours. My choice is the simpleton x to the n equals z squared minus y squared reigns supreme QED. Alias, 1. The difference of two squares equation. 2. The Pythagoras theorem equation. 3. The quarter squares rule equation. This corollary confirms that for the algebraic identity n to the power 2m minus 1, we get m difference of squares equations. So applied to 5 to the power 11, we get the following six difference of two squares equations, as predicted, all of which calculate out to give 5 to the power 11. A short addendum. The difference of two squares, a squared minus b squared equals a plus b times a minus b, where a plus b equal k. Then a squared minus b squared is equal to k times a minus b is equal to ka minus kb. Let a equal y squared, b equal x squared, k equal z squared. Then y squared squared minus x squared squared equals zy squared minus zx squared. The negative Fermat-Bateman quadruple equals true. Example, 20 squared equals 16 squared plus 15 squared minus 9 squared. Let a equal y to the n, b equal x to the n, k equals z to the n. Then y to the n squared minus x to the n squared equals zy to the power n minus zx to the power n. The negative Fermat mathematician quadruple equals false. Numerical example still wanted. A Fermat triple, if it existed, would be a mathematical clone of the Pythagorean triple, except for all the numerical input and absurdity, QED.